Getting a biotech job is almost always a slow and tedious process. But what if I tell you that 70% of the freshers lose their first job within the first two months? And you'll be amazed to know within a quarter, they are either fired or laid off. And that's one of the reasons industry next time doesn't prefer a fresher. So what's going wrong? There must be something. I'm going to tell you that in this video. So if you are a fresher, this video is a must for you because you are unaware of how a company works and when you join, you go in thinking they are going to welcome you. But the truth is they're not going to welcome you. They are hiring you to make you work, right? So if they are ask, going to ask you to work, there can be friction. There can be situations which is unpleasant for you or for the company. And in either of the ways, you might lose your job. So here I am telling you no. I'm here to warn you that if you are a fresher and if you're joining any biotech company, five to six things you should always know what you should never do, which can actually backfire for you. Now, the first thing during the interview itself, even before you join, do not over promise. Do not show over enthusiasm and say that, hey, I can go to the moon and get it down to earth because I'm a rock star. If you over promise and if the recruitment team believes you, and later on, if you're not able to deliver or if you under deliver, you lose your job. So it is better to be realistic. Don't be over enthusiastic, but at the same time, don't be negative also. The first rule after joining the biotech company also would be do not over promise and do not under deliver. Try your best. See, in the first three months, they're not going to expect you to get them, them the moon for you. So of course, what you have to do is you have to show the eagerness to impress but do not show over enthusiasm instead. Try to learn how exactly things work. So that brings me to the second point, and that is ignoring company culture. Now, most of the freshers, when they join the company, they feel that they can change the company. That's not the truth. See, the company has been working that way for several years, so you can't go and change it. Instead, you have to become a part of it first. So you have to know this, that the company culture is the secret co-founder of that company. Even though nobody knows, nobody has met, but that's how the company operates. So do not try to ignore or try to change the company culture or try to say that this company culture is not right or it's wrong. Instead, try and understand that every company has a unique culture and a set of values and failing to understand or adapt to your new company can be lethal for your job and that is where you will lose your job so try to get absorbed into the company even though you might notice some places favoritism you might play uh, notice some places something which is not right do not try to change it or point it out instead just become the part of the company first the third mistake freshers make neglecting the fact that you have to network internally also so make friends once you have joined don't be over friendly with everybody but yes make friends build a relationship with your new colleagues understand what is the limits you should never cross understand what exactly the company is expecting from you understand that uh, you can collaborate with them and not you have to make them comfortable so that they don't feel that you are there to compete with you instead they are there to collaborate with you and make an effort to connect with every team member in your organization. That's very, very important. If not other teams, at least your. And then coming to the fourth one, and that is ignoring the training program, ignoring the learning curve, ignoring what the CEO, the HR recruiter or the manager is saying or the, your direct manager is saying. Biotech is a complex field. Okay, so that means even though you come trained from your college or from your from Biotechnica, you can still, you have to learn and learning is all about evolving, right? Learn constantly, don't jump to conclusions, don't jump to tasks without learning and without proper understanding the specific technologies, protocols, regulatory stuff and processes. Remember, biotech companies operate in a tight regulatory environment and the, if any mistake happens, you will lose a job. So take your time to learn from colleagues, engage in training sessions, and stay up to date on industry trends relevant to your role. Now, the fifth mistake people do is disregarding feedback or not taking feedback constructively. See, when we work in a corporate environment, we will be criticized. Even today, even I am criticized for my videos or my work or whatever I do in Biotechnica. So I'm open to that. 
you have to take that criticism constructively positively whether it is negative or whether it is positive you have to keep your smiling face you have to understand what went wrong and promise that you will work on it and figure things out and fix it if you ignore that feedback then you you cannot grow as a professional and it will negatively impact your project it will negatively impact your job so always listen to feedback attentively and seek clarification if needed and use it to improve your performance whenever somebody is giving you feedback doesn't mean that he is biased or he is a racist it also means that he wants you to grow so take it positively so these were the five or six of uh, mistakes freshers do and that leads to they losing job in the first 3 or 2 months i don't want you to lose your job after working so hard and getting that job right so what you should do just avoid these five mistakes my dear friend you will last longer than you can think you are so do not worry go ahead hunt for the job get it and become a rockstar the true rockstar of your company all the best